this is the final video in which we're going to be looking at repeated measures designs using linear mixed effects models. So the previous two we looked at did a simple design with one IV and then the second one did a complex design with two repeated measures IVs. Now this final one we're going to do what it's going to include is a within subjects IV and a between subjects. So basically we've got a mixed design. So to run it we need exactly the same packages pulled out of our library as we did previously so we'll need our read excel. Estimated module means, SJ stats, LME4, LMA test and ME min. I'll just turn off scientific notation as well. So this is going to follow the same principles as we've done before, so it's a um, relatively straightforward procedure if you've looked at the other two videos. So I'm just going to read in the data set, I'm going to call it alcohol mixed, and it's this mixed XL. So, run that, and this is the data set. Now it's exactly the same example as we looked at in the first example, which looked at the effect of alcohol on phenomenal flow and see the number of words been used. However, the difference we've got here is we've got participants on a between subject basis where English is their first language or English is their second language. So although all our participants are exposed to the three different drink types of alcohol placebo control, they either have English as their first language or English is their second language. So we're interested in whether the drink interacts with their first language. So we're just going to tell R that from our alcohol mixed data set, drink is a factor, it's got three levels, alcohol placebo control, and from alcohol mixed, language is a factor, two levels, first language is English, is the first language, and then other, if the two. So we can just tell all that, and if you want to check our summary, as you can see, so this is our participant number, drink, We've got 31, 31, 31 because participants are exposed to each type. And then we've got our language of English or other. And then words. You'll just quickly note that, as you can see, it's now labelled because we've told this to be labelled. So alcohol placebo to each subject it can only be one of the between subjects factors. To run this, we're going to call it drink effect three because we're our third example now. That's our linear model. DV is words, tilde symbol. So by as factor drink, interaction, as factor language, and then we add our random effect for our subject. So controls for the between subject variants. If we run that, it doesn't do anything. We need to ask for our ANOVA. So to give our output terms for an ANOVA. And here we go. And as you can see, we've got a significant main effect of drink. We've got no significant main effect of language, it's not quite significant, and nor do we have an interaction between the two. If we want to get our effect size, we just ask for our eta squared, so from our drink effect model, and we can have a partial equals true, so this is our partial for eta squared, so we've got our effect sizes as well. So we could just say this, there was a significant main effect of drink, we'd report our degrees of freedom, our F statistic, the p-value, and the partial eta squared. There was, however, no main effect of language. Report the F statistic, degrees of freedom, p value, partial letter squared, nor was there an interaction between the two, reporting the degrees of freedom, the F statistic, p value, and partial letter squared. So, if we want to do estimated marginal means, we want to look at our main effect of drink type. So, we've got no interaction, so we wouldn't be doing post hoc tests for that, and language. We've got no main effect of that, and because it's two levels, we don't need to do post op tests for that. If it was significant, we'd know the two conditions differ. So, if you want to look at the estimated marginal means, we just ask for estimated marginal means from our drink effect that we just ran. List, and we've got pairwise by drink, and we can put adjustments if you want. We could have a bond for only. So, if we click on that, this gives us our output. Here's our estimated marginal means, words produced for each condition, and here's our comparisons. And as you can see, condition 1 and 2 are significantly different from each other. Fewer produced of the alcohol compared to the 
placebo condition and conditions 1 to 3 are significantly different from each other as well. Fewer words were used after alcohol compared to the control drink. However, there's no significant difference between these two conditions. Now, if there was an interaction, just so you know, this is what your code would look like. So you just write drink effect 3. So we're just, again, pulling it from the linear model we've made. Pairwise. So we compare the two different languages. Like drink. Map. So these are the outputs this will produce, and this will give you your um, English versus other after alcohol. The estimated model mean for English as the first language, and then for other as first language, and the same for after placebo, and the same for after the control drink, and there's the p-values for the differences produced there. However, because we didn't get our significant interaction, way up here, we wouldn't be doing those comparisons and reporting them anyway, so you don't make a type one error.